Hello guys and welcome to part 2 of this title domination career um, series. Uh, ignore the uh, date on the screenshots as I've just gone back and took the ones that I forgot to do originally. Um, I'm going to go straight into the transfers. Uh, I have started at the, sec at the second of February. This is what the date I did most of the rest, like the um, the rest of them. This is the third of March. Um, not much to say. Obviously, Manuel Almunia got sold. Wasn't playing him. Didn't need him. Uh, what I found is that they have good stats, like the rest of my keepers. So I was in no rush to get uh, keep him. There was no need for him. And uh, obviously, couldn't bring anyone in as didn't have the funds. I'd already spent them. Uh, I nearly had the m enough money to buy someone, but. Uh, the Rio Miyashi to Juventus deal fell through due to work permit. We'll go on to the fixtures now. This is the um, first uh, like page of the fixtures. As you can see um, mixed results. Um, I'd have thought they could be a lot worse. I've done higher worse results than these, but once again, I just wasn't too happy. I mean, they were inconsistent and. They never did play well, even though we win. We we won some games. Um, Panathinaikos games were both really really good. Uh, in relation to the Chelsea game, we lost two nil. Um, we just didn't really. We had a lot, we had enough chances to beat them. We had, we had more chances than them, but we had less on the target. I think the strikers maybe just didn't turn up to that game. But that's that one. Um, as you can see, four two in the league up third round, which is a nice result, and the draw against Inter, which was also a really good result. Um, on the second page now, uh, some really good results in the Champions League. Apart from the uh, the, the Inter game was hard. I mean, away at Inter is always going to be difficult, but when Diego Forlan's on form, it makes it a lot a lot harder. Um, Corbin Haven, nice result. Ruben, nice result. Then the two at Man United were probably the the best time. Like the ones I'm happy with out of all of them is the two Man United ones. I mean, to beat them twice in a month is really really special. Um, the three 0 at Newcastle after that wasn't the best, but it's I don't know. I kind of took it. Oh, we must have played like two games well in a row. The team was just like in shock or something. I mean, they're a new team. They finally started playing together. Um, you saw the last one as well. There uh, we did lose to Swansea. Here we've lost to Everton, Tottenham, and we've drew with Norwich twice and Stoke. This is where the results going badly. Um, drew with Fulham as well. Um, it's not good enough. These are the kind of points we need to be picking up. But Evan having a really good season so far, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it's just because they look doing well now. Um, once again, our our cup domination still goes. Um, the one nil Copenhagen, lovely result we played. We outplayed them. Chelsea, we outplayed them throughout. We were, we were lucky not to score more. Same goes for Ruben. We should have won that easily six nil. We would, but um, dropping points is starting to worry me a bit in relation to the Norwich games and the Stoke game. Go on to the third page now, and the final page of the fixtures. As you can see, this is it's we're getting better. We're getting better. This is where I'm saying it's more positive. Um, draw Man City. They've, they've, they've spent a ridiculous amount of money still, so not my problem that one. Um, nice win at Chelsea. I'm happy about that one. Nice win at Aston Villa. I'm happy about that one. Uh, the Bolton game's the only worrying one here. I mean, we're still dominating the cups, which is really, really important. But the Bolton game kind of annoyed me because we have been playing really well up until that point, and we just did absolute awful. Um, but it's looking promising going on the next part of the season. So I'm just going to take you now into the league and how we're shaming up there. And as you can see, we are eighth. We are capable of getting fourth or even third if we play if we if the teams stick together for the next part of the season. But I mean. The team is still blending. I'm still trying to just sort everything out, like get the um, tactics and the play roles and whatnot right. The lineup's pretty much set. I mean, I know how who I want in it, so I think it's just a case of the players getting used to playing with each other, which is always a problem when I do games on Football Manager, unfortunately. But um, obviously, we're in this, we're in all the cups, we're in as well. I mean, we're in the FA Cup, the League Cup, and the Champions League still. So they're all good. I mean, the cups are going really, really well considering. Um, but yeah, that brings back down the squad. It just shows you a bit of my squad. I mean, I'm missing the uh, the rest of the defenders and the keeper. But um, that pretty much sums up for this uh, halfway through season update. Um, cheers for watching. Make sure you check out everyone else. There's some really, really good guys on here. Uh, cheers. Thanks for watching and stay safe.